Hey everyone, welcome back. RTA have set up new rules regarding Dubai's upcoming trams, while volunteers around the city are helping to keep Dubai's beaches clean. A new 60,000 seater stadium is set to be built here, teachers are jumping on board the nutritional education bandwagon for children, and what's the latest exhibition in Dubai Mall that's taken 150 million years in the making? You're with me Jessica on The Roundabout. RTA have sent out clear messages during the ongoing golf traffic week, especially many regarding the new trams that will start working later on in the year. One of the most important rules being set out regarding trains is not using headphones or mobile phones near areas where trams could pass. Also, if you cross a red traffic light at an intersection area with a tram and cause a fatal accident, you'll face a fine between 10 to 30,000 dirhams and you'll have your driver's license revoked for up to one year. Also, something to remember, the tram will always have priority when it comes to tram versus vehicle intersections. Do you love going for a swim in Dubai's clean beach waters? Well, if the attitude of many beachgoers doesn't change, we might soon be swimming in a sea of cigarette butts. Nearly 50,000 cigarette butts were picked up in just one hour by 350 people as part of the third annual Issa Saleh Al Gorj Group Beach Cleanup held in partnership with the charity organization Volunteer in the UAE. Now, we all know cigarettes are harmful for our health, but they're obviously also harmful to our environment. Imagine if a child picked it up and put it in their mouth. Just a friendly reminder that littering, including cigarette butts, could land you a fine between 500 to 1,000 dirhams. A new 60,000 seat stadium is planned to be built by 2018 near Dubai Sports City. The project was revealed as the UA Football Association outlined its bid to host the 2019 Asian Cup. Games will allegedly be played at the Cricket Stadium and at a smaller stadium in Sports City that's still being built, but with a capacity of about 25,000 people. A requirement of the Asian Football Confederation includes having six suitable stadia, and both Abu Dhabi and Al Ain plan to chip in, holding games in their local stadiums. Now, the last time we held an event here was in 1996, and seeing as the UAE is well known for hosting a wide span of big events, including football, it's no wonder that they're constantly trying to outdo themselves. Best of luck. With Dubai's fast-paced lifestyle, it's sometimes easy to overlook your health habits and this is especially true when it comes to children if their parents don't keep a close eye on them. The Dubai Health Authority has recognised the importance of this and, as a result, has held a seminar for 400 teachers from both private and government schools in Dubai discussing nutritional education. The main aim of the workshop was to educate teachers so they can educate and promote healthy eating habits among children as well as their families especially on the dangers of fast foods, which are a major cause of childhood obesity, helping them make the right food choices. An exhibition 155 million years in the making has been put on permanent display at Dubai Mall. Well, in the form of an eight meter tall, 155 million year old dinosaur skeleton, stretching nearly 25 meters long, Prehistoric dinosaur remains are from the late Jurassic period, with nearly 90% of the bones being original. They were discovered in a sleeping position in Wyoming, US in 2008, and the exhibit was air freighted to Dubai. Now, to put into perspective the sheer size of this thing, even though it's human friendly and was vegetarian, it weighed as much as five elephants, stood as tall as five people stacked on top of one another, and reached about five cars in length, bumper to bumper. That's pretty big. <laughs> That's all we have for you on this episode of The Roundabout. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, share this video, and follow us on Twitter at The Roundabout too. Here's your weather for the week. Have a lovely weekend.